we're on generally grade two wild land and it's a poor grade two and we've stone contents from roughly 50% um, in the worst land down to 25-30% on the, on the better land. Altitude here ranges from about uh, seven, eight feet above sea level right up to 425 on the south side of the farm and 475 feet above sea level on the north side of the farm. So we're also talking undulating fields, steep uh, angles, chalk outcrops that doesn't really constitute to evenness and high yielding crops. Where do you think the, the real benefits to growing these high yielding crops, where do you think we're, we're, we're getting these big benefits from? I think the, the major thing that we've taken out this season is having taken the, the One for All Delta programme that we've used on, on potatoes and we've, we've tried to do that multiple application system and brought it into the, the wheats and barleys. And that seems to have been amazing in terms of how it's come out the winter. So we've got greater root structure, greater tillering, um, you know, the tiller survivals um, on, on certainly the barleys and the wheats, people have been uh, as if I've applied a 0.2 modus twice early season to get the same effect. But we've actually applied no growth regulator early season other than Clormaquat. The only thing I think we're going to have to add back in is a later season type turple application to stop the straw getting as long as it has. Um, I don't think we've maybe got enough delta in later season to check it enough and, and the straw's actually got away from us. And we've a little bit of lodging, so we're going to have to iron that one out. Some seed rates. Talk to me about your seed rates. Yeah, seed, seed rates is an exciting one because we've gone as low as 50% now and uh, you would debate even the early drillings could maybe even be a bit to tweak. Well, maybe just look at the growth regulatory programme rather than tweaking that anymore. It's, it's you know, controversial to go much more than 50% below the seed rate. So massive. And, and your seed rate this year? Seed rate, we were somewhere between 95 and 105 kilograms a hectare. Do you see a benefit from recovering the crops from multiple stacks of pre-emergence and residual herbicides in the autumn? If you've damaged the plant from, from high stackings of, of autumn herbicides and you apply the Delta One for All system to the wheat plant, it'll get stronger roots, greater stem strength and greater tillers, which will let it survive over the winter much better than a plant that's failing from stacking herbicides. So tell me, Tim, this autumn, applications-wise, what are we looking at? It's a litre of One for All, two and a half litres of Delta K because of the K deficit on this land to so, get the strangulation. So start point, two leaf of the, of the, of the crop? Always two leaves definitely wouldn't want you to go much later because we're trying to get cytokine in growth that's getting that plant to produce those roots that stem strength and that tiller survival right from the start and I think the greatest effect we saw last autumn was in the barley the fact it never went off yeah. we, we never saw any yellowing in the barley any disease come into it until March the Delta program in the spring key timings are what it's all about timing and it's all about getting going as soon as you possibly can in the spring um, so I'm looking at the February application again at a litre and two and a half, and it'd always be Delta K for me. And then obviously looking at including your Delta programme with your key fungicide and growth regulator timings from Grow Stage 30. Yes, we will definitely do the, the, the T0 to the T4 programme in with it, so there's no more applications. Um, I think in wheat you might have to have a look at, the, there might be a cost in the earlier drillings in one more application in the autumn. I think that's where the only extra cost with the sprayer will be this year. Tell me about the PK policy on the farm. Right, well we've gone away from um, applying any bagged P and K and we now go on a um, muck policy of uh, one in three, one in five. Obviously you're looking to be growing these huge crops. What uh, totals of nitrogen are you using? Generally 220 is where we've gone and we've gone down to trials now at 110 and we've got stages from 110 to sort of 165 up to 220 and we've got replicated trials right through. We've seen absolutely no change in colour difference. So the 220 plot has looked the same colour as the 110 plot right through the season. I can't specifically see any more tillers or any less tillers in them and uh, I'd be very hopeful there would not be a lot of difference in the yield. It's been quite clear doing tissues from the early part of the spring this year that nutrition has been kept to optimum generally. One or two areas for me that, that just cause a bit of a concern and that's the late demand on the crops from potash. What are your thoughts? I'm really happy with how things have been maintained up to the point, especially in the, in the trial sites where we haven't used the Delta K, we've used the Delta CA. 
there seems to be from the tissue tests I've seen a, a K deficit, which we've got to look at. Yeah. We've got to identify how we sort that and how we get it into the plant to alleviate that problem. Um, and obviously we mustn't lower the sulfur with yeah. that. We've got to keep the sulfur levels up here. We've always been short for the last 10 years in testing in sulfur. So we just have to keep the sulfur levels up and it might mean applying slightly later bag sulfur end to keep those level ratios right. So summing up on the winter wheat, Tim, totals of delta? On the major programme, so the earlier drillings, we're talking 20 litres of delta, 8 litres of one for all, so that's eight applications right through the season. And that, that total spend is £125 a hectare. With commodity prices falling, what are your thoughts regarding the cost of the programme and balancing that with, with the falling price of commodities? The full cost of the wheat programme is the £125 a hectare and then we've got to put the seed rate saving in there, the nitrogen saving in there. Let's put that somewhere around about the £60 to £70 a hectare mark. So already we're talking of the total whole programme only costing around about £50 to £60 a hectare before we start looking at the benefits. So you've increased your your root structure and your stem strength you've probably got rid of some growth regulators which i haven't put into my calculation there as well um, we're not spending any more on fungicides so basically we've got to look at the yield increase over the top and definitely definitely looking at a minimum of a ton a hectare with the full program putting that little and often you're talking 120 pound a ton for wheat at the moment if you're talking of 150 to 200 all of a sudden those margins just go through the roof Just discussing spring barley, total uh, applications on spring barley? Four applications and that's Start, little... Starting at, again, the uh, one to two leaf stage? Got to be growth stage 12 or as close as you possibly can get to it. I don't mind being 11. I think any earlier than that would be probably even too early for our programme. But it's sort of somewhere between 11 and 13 is optimum. And much later than that, you start to lose that influence in that root growth because spring barley is going to be up and out the ground and away like a rocket. So the sooner you can influence the growth habit in it and start to make it tiller and root rather than just shoot out the ground, um, the better. And, and the latest application on spring barley? Latest application will be on the awns, uh, and it, I try that three weeks to a month application in between. Seed rates, again, where are you going on seed rates? Seed rates, we always inherently drilled at 250 kilograms a hectare, and nowadays we're drilling between 175 and 200. So we've dropped it 25 to 30 percent in, in, in the last three years. For the world record attempt on the spring barley, Tim, which variety are we using? Uh, we're using Propino, which we've used for the last four or five years. And uh, that, that variety stood me in good stead for the last three or four years. It's produced a consistent sample with the Delta One for All system for the last three or four years. And that's the one subject we haven't touched, is the fact that we're using the calcium product over the top of that to try and lower the nitrogen even greater. The yield increases are talking a tonne and a half, roughly a hectare on spring barley. The costings on the programme is around about 68 to 70 pound a hectare for the Delta One for All system and we can take 25% of the seed rate off that. I won't touch nitrogen because it's such a low application nitrogen already. So we're talking about 40 to 50 pound a hectare again in terms of the cost of the program and we're talking of ridiculous yield responses because of the extra tillering and, and, and that. So if we, if we downscale it to a tonne a hectare rather than going at the tonne and a half which we're, I'm sure we're getting at home, you're getting 90 to 100 pound a tonne for spring barley at the moment with a 20 pounds so basing it on 120 pound a hectare for round about a 40 to 50 pound a hectare response you've got a good 70 pound a hectare over the top of that in margin uh, and that's minimum uh, I mean I think at home we're nearer the 100 to 150 pound a hectare and, that, and that's the sort of responses we're getting from the spring barley program. Mm -hmm.